Hey everybody, just wanted to give a rundown of my bobcat season that we had here in Michigan. Our bobcat season uh, opened up January 1st. I hunt unit F, which the season goes from January 1st to January 11th. Doesn't give me much of a window of opportunity. Um, historically, this time of year has really had pretty sketchy weather, so we have to maximize the time that we have and try and get out in the field to land a cat. Um, I spent all day Saturday hunting. Uh, I hunted three, four different properties. Um, only seen sign on one of the properties, even though uh, the other places had seen cats throughout the fall and summer. Um, then we had a little bit of snow, so I was able to look for tracks. And at three of the four properties, I didn't even see any tracks, but I still tried. Um, didn't have any activity all day Saturday. Um, hunted morning till about noonish. Came home, had lunch, took care of a few things at home, then went out again for the evening starting at like 3, 3.30. So again, Saturday we had good weather, uh, nice and cool. Uh, had old snow on the ground, it wasn't fresh snow. But only seen sign at one of the places and the sign was probably a day or two old. Um, no activity on all day Saturday. So Sunday, we had fresh snow. It had snowed Saturday night. Um, I got a hold of Mike Latroll, and he decided to join me for the hunt Saturday mo or Sunday morning. So we got together before daylight and headed out. <clears throat> we made um, two sets. Uh, we went to the one property where I did have tracks um, from Saturday. And I, we came up with a plan of walking the property, looking for fresh sign. <clears throat> if we found fresh sign, we were going to set up on that sign and call. So we walked property, uh, ended up finding uh, two sets of fresh tracks. One set of tracks went back into the swamp where the tracks had come out of. The other set of tracks went deeper into the property. So we called that spot, hoping to call that one out of the swamp. We ended up not seeing anything. So then we followed the tracks that went deeper into the property and um, ended up following those till they left the property. So we called from that edge of the property and we had a buck that came in to check out the collar and the decoy. Check it out. So that buck was the only thing that came into the call. Um, that being said, we didn't have high expectations based on what the property was like. We figured that cat was probably a long ways away. From my experience, the closer you get to where the cats are, the more likely you are to have them come in. So we called it a day probably around 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Uh, I had to take care of some things at home, so I came home, did that. Decided to go out again in the evening. Um, got a hold of Mike. He wasn't able to make it, so I went out on my own. And went back to the spot where we had seen the tracks going into the swamp earlier in the day. Um, got out there probably about 4.30 or so. Set up my collar and decoy. I didn't turn the decoy on this time. But what I did do, as you can see right here, I was using the Fox Pro Fusion. So I laid that in a tuft of grass. And... Uh, had the decoy next to it but not on. I'm using the Mojo uh, Critter decoy. Didn't have it on though. I don't know. For whatever reason I just decided not to turn it on. Normally I run it. Um, and let the calls run. I went through a series of uh, bird distress, rabbit distress, back to bird distress, and rabbit distress. The last sound I was calling when this cat came in was Tony Tebby's Cottontail chirp, which is a nice high-pitched, um, medium-rate sound that I like that type of sound for cats. Um, that was the sound that was playing. I was sitting up on a 
ridge overlooking low ground that went into the swamp. Happened to look to my left, and it, I, I'll tell you, if it wasn't for the snow, I don't think I would have seen this cat. Because I looked over to my left, along the edge of the ridge and down at the bottom towards the corner of the swamp, all I could see was his head and chest, and he was looking towards the collar, which was perfect. The bad part was, my gun was facing straight away. Cat was on my left. I have my uh, gun, the one you see behind me here. It's an AR-15 uh, in 204 Ruger, topped with ATN 4K, uh, 3 to 14 scope. And it was on my shooting stick facing forward. So I watched the cat without moving as much as I could. And when he turned to look at the collar, I'd pick up the gun off the, the sticks and the gun, move it a little bit. And he would turn and look at me, and I'd wait for him to turn again, and I'd move it again. Well, the last bit of time that I moved it, he ended up looking right at me. And I was already most of the way there, so I got the gun set down on the shooting sticks. I was on the scope. I looked at him. He was looking at me, and he started to do that crouch down thing like he was getting ready to take off. And I let the shot go. So he disappeared immediately after that shot, as you've seen in the video. Um, I didn't see it run off. I didn't see anything else. I figured he was down. So I waited for a little bit. Uh, and all I had to do was stand up, and I seen the cat lay in there. So that was at about 530. Uh, in where I'm at, I'm on the west side of the state. Last shooting, legal shooting light was at 5. 36 and there's an additional 12 minutes because I'm on the west side so I had plenty of daylight left so I went and collected the call on the decoy um, then went over collected the cat snapped a real quick picture and then got him tagged got him tagged and I had to walk uh, over a mile to get the cat back out to my truck so I could load it up and take it home so all in all I mean I put on a lot of miles walking um, Cat hunting is pretty challenging, in my opinion, because we don't have a lot of them around, and they usually like the thick cover. So I got a beautiful uh, Tom Bobcat. He weighed in at 27.8 or 38 pounds, I think it was. Uh, Going to get a full body mount done on him, um, and uh, overall very happy. Now I just have to get him checked in with the DNR when they get the office open and uh, wait on the taxidermist to get them out done. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it.